To configure the EXCGA01 gateway data logger within a network of measuring instruments, you need to connect its ETH1 port locally with an Ethernet cable from a PC directly. First, make sure your PC has an IP address in the 192.168.0.x range. From any browser, enter the address specified on the gateway data logger to configure it. 192.168.0.1 Now you can access the integrated web server. Enter admin as your username and admin also as your password. You can set the network interfaces. Click on Settings, Network Interfaces. There will be the ETH1 port, configured by default as 192.168.0.1 and the ETH0 port, set to DHCP to automatically obtain the network address. Deactivate the DHCP option and assign the gateway data logger and address agreed with your network operator. In this case, 192.168.0.4. Subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Save and wait for the beep from the gateway. Now you can disconnect the EXCGLA01 from your computer and put it back into your device network, reconnecting the PC and the gateway data logger to the LAN. You can access the web server again, selecting the address you just entered for the EXCGLA01, 192.168.0.4 in our example. Sign in with the same credentials, admin and admin. In the Devices window, you will gradually see the networked devices appear. Both RS-485, indicated as serial port, and LAN, indicated as Ethernet. You can perform an additional scan by pressing the dedicated Auto Discovery button with the double arrows. Here are all the five devices that we have networked in the previous videos. Identified by the type of instrument, serial number, the channel through which they are connected to the gateway data logger, and the unique Modbus node that has been assigned to the instrument. Now, you must identify the user each instrument monitors. You can name them one by one for greater convenience. For example, Load 1. Choose a monitoring scenario that is suitable for the user. The manual of the Gateway Data Logger EXCGLA01 shows the different measurements it can take according to the different types of scenario. Now save. You can repeat the operation for all the instruments in your monitoring network. As an example, on Load 4, dedicated to a DMG800, you can monitor the acquisition of digital and analog inputs with the EXP EXM expansion, selecting the relevant scenario. Or, on Load 5, in this case, also perform harmonic analysis using a DMG300 and the dedicated scenario. As they are recognized, the tools will align with the assigned scenarios, turning green. Use the Refresh button to update. The green icons confirm proper communication among the instruments and the monitoring system. Enjoy using it!